It's been likened to a cross between a vacuum cleaner and a lawnmower. Attached to the hull, this machine is stripping off dirt, slowly cleaning an area the size of half a football pitch. We've developed soft jets, so that's a whole new method. We've used very low pressure uh, jets, but we use seawater, and it's only seawater and electricity to drive some cleaning discs that moves over the surface, and they are situated on this submarine. The waste is pumped back to a collection tank, removing the need for divers or the cost of a dry dock. Keeping them afloat is good for the cargo business and saves money. We estimate through this we could save over 10 percent uh, in our fuel costs uh, just by basically cleaning the bottom of the hull, keeping it clean just as you would to basically reduce the friction. Environmentally, the risk of transferring live organisms around the world is much reduced. The residue collected is also valuable biomass fertilizer that once burnt creates electricity. This waste has been freshly scraped off the hull of this ship. It's then bagged up for processing. Half a ton of this muck is enough to power one light bulb for over five years. Until now, a vessel of this size might get a spring clean every couple of years. That can now be completed every six months. There are many different rules that apply to different ships and so on, but we do have very high standards here and we're trying going forwards to make sure they get a higher still because we recognise we have an impact on the city locally and we're trying to reduce that impact going forwards. If every ship passing through the port were cleaned in this way, it would help power around 100 Southampton homes a year. Alistair Thee, BBC South Today.